Today we are going to take you on the ultimate street food tour in Hanoi. And because we're not experts in Vietnamese food, we have asked a local food expert to join us and show us the ropes. We are going to taste, smell, and learn all about the fascinating food culture here in Hanoi. We just left the office of the Hanoi Street Food Tour and we met our guide Wendy who will be taking us on a food tour in the old quarter and just in front of us here is the old gate that is the entrance to the old quarter. In the past, the real Hanoi is uh, much smaller than now. Oh. Yeah, and there were five gates that lead to Hanoi. And this is one of the gates. Oh, yeah, okay. The other four, they were all bombarded. This one, the last one left. This one before. Did you say worm? Yeah. Worm. The worm. Later we pass the market. If I see that, I will show you the okay. sand worm. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't have something like this in Thailand for sure. So it's a mixture of worm and pork. But you can't see like the whole worms because they kind of like blend it and dissolve uh, into uh, into the patty. And they and have like dill. Yeah. Uh, lemongrass leaf, ginger leaf, orange skin. Oh, okay. Oh, sounds delicious. It's quite juicy. And it has that, like, the aroma of the dill. You can't really taste the worm. It tastes like a um, minced pork. Hmm. It's almost like an omelet. <laughs> yeah, it has some egg as well. Hmm. It's like a herb omelet, because I really like dill. This is delicious. So we were worried that we might be leaving too much leftover during our food tour, but Wendy just said that we don't have to worry because the restaurants collect the leftovers, and the farmers will come and collect them and use it to feed the pigs. I at first thought they would just resell them. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's why at first you were so worried. <laughs> when you get to a new country and you don't speak the language like how we are in Vietnam. So that's why we think joining a food tour is the best way to get to talk to the locals but also get to know the culture of a city. So um, in the old quarter, um, originally we have 36 streets and uh, you can see a lot of the street, uh, the name of the street begins with the word Hang. Like H-A-N-G, Hang it means shop. And the second word is the product they sell in the street. For example, this street is the Hang Chiu, Hang Chiu, which means the mat street. And you can see they sell mat everywhere. Oh. Yeah. So in the old quarter, we also have like um, <laughs> silver street, uh, fish sauce street, sugar street, many things. Yeah. Did you want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to buy something, you go to that street. Get out of the way first. <laughs> so we're walking down this small little street here and it is where all the merchants come to eat and what we mean by merchants is that there is a wholesale market the biggest one called Dong Shun Market where people come and just buy goods and they resell it in the countryside or in other shops and Wendy was saying the merchants are the best eaters so that's why this street is full of delicious street food. Okay. This is where we're gonna sit? Yeah. First thing we bring is the lion tea. Uh, so one is the uh, lion tea and one is comfort tea. Comfort is much smaller. This one, you see? Yeah. And lion is bigger. And which one is more popular? The lion tea. Yeah. You can see uh, when you pass by the um, the places where a lot of young people sit down and uh, drink something and eat some flowers while chatting each other. So that's lion tea. 
mora. This is super refreshing. What what is that? What do you have? This is kumquat tea. Kumquat. You can change and try. Mm. Lime tea is delicious too. This one is delicious too. And how much would the tea be? Oh, so refreshing. Look at the smoke coming out. Must be really hot grilling those skewers in this weather. Bunit means the vermicelli mm. and cha is mean the barbecue uh, pork. So we have two kinds of barbecue pork here. Mm. Um, the first one is pork belly and this one is mean pork and it's wrapped with low low leaf. You know low low leaf? No. It's um the same, it looks exactly like betel leaf, but mm. the betel leaf we choose to dye the thing into black color. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this one we just eat. So now you can add some chili and some um, garlic pickle in vinegar. Yeah, so one tip for you when you go to eat in a strain shop is that you add some garlic in vinegar in the food. Yeah, so because you don't know about the quality of that salt, and this one will protect the stomach. Yeah, oh, so you we have to that. do that. But so far we've been really lucky. Like we yeah. haven't gotten sick or anything. Yeah. But that's a really good tip. Add pickled garlic. We had puncha before. Mm -hmm. Is this one of the best one? The char is what makes the difference. The char in the meat and then in the soup is what makes it so good. Yeah, because the lady was just sitting there grilling them <laughs> until they like nice and crispy for you. Okay, you have to try this. This is really good. I have a question about the basket of uh, vegetables. Okay. Do they give it to other table if you don't finish it? <laughs> it depends on the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, we go uh, like we have only the first people that come, and you can see that because they deliver a lot. We just sit here. So um, this one not the um, reused one. So okay. don't worry. <laughs> so there's a tip: always eat the top half because it's fresh. The bottom half is like the old stuff, and they pop the new stuff. On top. <laughs> They pop the old basket on top of the new basket, so you can't tell. What is the name in um, Vietnamese? So it's called Bun Ok. Bun Ok. Bun Ok. Yeah. O C. Ok. Ok it means new. Okay, here's the tofu. This is banana. Isn't yeah, that green weird? Banana. Green banana. This is the Ok. The ok. <laughs> Snail. We actually had snail soup before. Oh, okay. The very first night in, oh. uh, when we arrived in Hanoi. There's definitely snail in there. What do you order? <laughs> first night. Oh man, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Snail is like a uh, Vietnamese specialty, right? Yeah. A lot of people like to eat snails here. Yeah. Okay, let's see if it's good. Oh, this one is much better than the first one we tried. It has like a the chiso leaf smell, and I can get the aftertaste of the snail. It tastes like dirt. <laughs> How food is good? Had it before? I haven't seen you eaten the snail yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm nervous. I leave it last. It's so slimy. See that? Yeah. Mmm. Yum. Why you have to eat it separately when you scan it? Why don't eat together with other food? <laughs> Do you like snail? <laughs> Such a weird texture. Slimy and crunchy. You can take a little bit of everything. That's yeah. how you have to eat. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it like how the Vietnamese way. eat it. Yeah. Mixed together, it doesn't taste like dirt. It's just punchy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's not slimy. Try it by yourself, please. <laughs> That's not how you're Why? supposed to eat it. You're supposed to eat it the yummy way, which is like mixed together. So how much was our total? And in total, one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Hey, next up. Okay, let's go. So you probably noticed that we are not taking our wallets out to pay. Oops. Because as part of the food 
tour, we pay initially, which is $20 a person if you're on a group tour and $30 a person if you are on a private tour. And all the food in this tour will be paid for by the tour guide. Let's see where else Wendy is going to take us. It's the red deli fish. You don't need like to finish the whole thing. I just buy one and then you can try a piece. Let's do it. Okay. I'm a bit scared about this one. It looks like it looks like raw beef. Yeah, this one looks pretty um, interesting and. But we can do it, right? We can do <laughs> we it. We can do it. Let's do it. So yeah, we are oh, a bit wait. nervous about this, but there's a lot of people eating here, a lot of locals, so it's probably really, really good. Okay, take a seat. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> you can sit beside me. <laughs> You're really close to other people. Good night. Good night. Why do Vietnamese people like to sit really low? We don't like to sit really slow. <laughs> Because like this one, this kind of stool, it's cheaper and it's more flexible. You know that it's illegal to uh, do business in the pavement, right? Yeah, so sometimes the police will come, so that's much quicker for the owner to take everything in. That makes total sense. Because it's so much easier to uh, hide because, them. Yeah, remove these ones quickly. Yeah. So all the like street food stalls setting up tables like this and stools are technically not legal. This thing you can now uh, easily fit any people. Like you don't have the big table and now uh, it's fit really small number of people, right? It's easy for us if we're short. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> it's raw, isn't it? I don't know if it's raw, but look at the jellyfish. Look at the, the black dots. Oh, it's like the skin. You might have to try this one. <laughs> so it's a uh, red jelly fish and they pickle it with some kind of herb that make it red like this. And uh, we will eat together with the herb and um, tofu, coconut, and they leave everything in the uh, shrimp paste. <laughs> you look concerned. <laughs> you take a leaf and then you put a little bit of everything. Jellyfish, tofu, and coconut, and then you just uh, do like this, dip, and then eat. Open the mouth. Open the mouth. Now worry, it's gonna be good. <laughs> you know this place is very famous. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Wow, you're so brave. I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure I'm keeping it down first. The jellyfish for me, the texture is a bit weird. So I was scared about the shrimp paste, but actually the shrimp paste was fine. It was the texture of the jellyfish is like new yeah. for me. I don't think I don't think you can handle it. So you put some of this? Uh, no, this one. Any, any, any other. Yeah, and then some of this. Some lime. No, no. I put lime here. And this is it. <laughs> what? And you even skip all the that. <laughs> then it's that big. Just a piece of tofu and <laughs> no shrimp paste, no jelly paste. I honestly okay. think I, I, I don't think I can. <laughs> but that was very good though, the one I just made. <laughs> Okay, this is more expensive than pho. This set here is sixty thousand dollars. But um, let's move on. Okay. okay. <laughs> How was it? Was it like? It was better than I expected, but it's not my favorite uh, food in Vietnam. But it's okay because Wendy said it's also not her favorite, so it's just something that to some try, people right? Like, yeah. And do you think it was a good choice that I didn't uh, try it? Yes, because I know when you cannot handle it, you'll probably vomit all over the ground, and then we'll probably have to pay more money to clean it up. <laughs> Very accurate. <laughs> I have a question. I see a lot of older people smoking that bong. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it like uh, marijuana or is it like just? Um, it's more like cigarette, but it's much stronger. Sometimes you can see the video of the foreigner. They smoke that and then they fall, uh, fall out. Oh, right because the... it's so strong. <laughs> they want you to try, but I suggest no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we get to walk a lot, yeah. mm -hmm. get a chance for, for our food to digest. So what are we eating? So we have normal food here. <laughs> we will have a chicken noodle, but it's without the soup. Oh. Yeah. Dry chicken noodle? Yeah. Is it dry for that? Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. So this part noodle is full. Oh. And then we have a chicken. We have a special kind of sauce. And then we have bean sprout. Um, we also have um, uh, this one is uh, fried salad and uh, different kind of herb as well. Yeah, so now you just mix this up and eat together. And uh, we also have um, this chili paste that uh, go well with the um, uh, noodle. Can you eat spicy? More, more, okay. more. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's not no, her, right? No, no, no. no, no. This one is spicy. And then we have more garlic pickle and vinegar. A lot of Vietnamese food is sweeter yeah. than other uh, cuisine. That's okay. why they have to add a lot of like lime and vinegar <laughs> and like chili to just balance the taste a little bit. No, because we have a bitter lime, so we have to sweeten everything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I cut it all wrong. <laughs> This is the first actual table we have used during this food tour. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you stop here, yeah. you don't have to stand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we did everything. We stood and eat. Yeah. We sat on the stool. Now, proper a, table. A proper table. Good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. I did it right? Yeah. Good ngok. Good I think this one is. An easy one to like to yeah. enjoy. I saw the way the lady shredded the chicken. She just like <laughs> use her hands and tear everything out. When you tear the chicken, it mm. tastes better. It tastes look better. Mmm. Too, it has a better texture too. Yeah. Hand torn chicken noodle. <laughs> one of the vendor mm -hmm. you know like the one who always have the carrier on their uh, shoulder oh, yeah so that's so noodle yeah so like the whole big pot like that on one of the carrier thing and now she carry around here in the oh. quarter like for 10 years before she can open the little restaurant here it's glass noodle and then they mix it with some um, some more seasoning so the flavor is more intense mm. yeah and then we have um, fish cake uh, beef Tofu and um, some vegetable. Looks very good. Very nice. Noodles very are very flavorful. She's been doing this for over 10 years, so she has definitely perfected her recipe. What? <laughs> Who is that? My friend, the one that you mentioned, Kanang. <laughs> what a flower! Hi! <laughs> Oh, like a cracker. Yeah, you've oh. now joined our food tour, so you have All to right, pay for half next? of it. <laughs> <laughs> Come with your backpack. <laughs> okay, we gotta get back to uh, Wendy here. Bye, we'll, we'll see, see you, you guys later. later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Small world. Hanoi is not that big. <laughs> this one also a normal dish for us. Yeah, if you go to the market, you can see that they sell a lot. And we just eat this kind of food with rice at home. Mm. So this trip is like um, the food they, they, they sell the uh, ready made food. Mm. So people who they have no time for cooking, they can come here and uh, buy some and bring back home to eat with rice. Silkworm. This is not too weird for me because uh, we have this in Thailand too. It's different from the one in Thailand? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. They pop in your mouth but they're very salty. Quail eggs. Oh, this one is good. <laughs> and the pork. Oh, this is my favorite. This with hot steamed rice would be yeah, yeah. so good. Yeah. 
<laughs> this one I like. Very good. <laughs> Sit on. I'm gonna have green beans, right? Okay. Mung bean, yeah. Mung beans and green beans the same one? Yeah. How about you? Um, yeah. Can you please have one with us? Yeah. So this is not your normal regular ice cream shop. This is the first ice cream shop in Hanoi. You can see it says since 1958. The mint ice cream is this color and then the bright green is lime. So you have to bite it to get both flavors. Mm, different, right? I like yours better. <laughs> We have two more stops to go today. That was our first dessert. We have one more dessert and we will end our tour today with coffee. So I ordered for you the pendant leaf um, jelly with yogurt mm -hmm. and now another one you can choose. But this is dessert? Yeah. It's like breakfast. <laughs> yogurt is like breakfast. Mm. Ice cream, coconut and sticky rice. It's like all combinations of texture. You get the sticky, chewy, sticky rice, and you get the soft, refreshing coconut ice cream. You get the crunchy roasted coconut, and you get like stringy, crunchy texture from the fresh <laughs> coconut. Very good. <laughs> That's a really big bite. <laughs> You need to take a little bit of everything. <laughs> you feed her too much sticky rice. <laughs> I was gonna say too. It's supposed to be like more of the ice cream. So it's cooler, like a dessert. You're eating the ice cream wrong. But how was it though? Very good. I think I like the yogurt with the pandan jelly. Because the pandan jelly is really good. It's like nice and firm and crunchy and what are these ones again another type of jelly yeah um, and it's a little sour so it's kind of refreshing this is our final stop <laughs> we are going to the original egg coffee shop right here okay you gotta walk through this tight corridor here where they invented egg coffee. You know that before the French came to Vietnam, they didn't have any coffee or milk. And now coffee is too bitter, so Vietnamese people didn't like it. Mm. And now um, uh, Mr. Zhang, the one who invented egg coffee, at first he worked in a, a French hotel in Hanoi. One time he uh, ran out of milk, so he replaced milk with egg and make egg coffee. And then he realized that with the egg coffee, uh, it's like more accessible to all the Vietnamese people. Like it's much cheaper. Every family they have chicken, so they have egg. So it's much more affordable than milk. <laughs> That's such a cool story. Yeah, it's so, so creative. Yeah, you can uh, take the picture of the family. The uh -huh. man, the man in the picture is the one who makes the egg coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and as uh, the smallest boy over there is the man here. Oh! No way! Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> because you know the coffee is much heavier than the egg. That's why it's always in the bottom. And if you mix it, then it's still in the bottom. So the correct way is to fold it. Oh, wow! Yeah, so you can still take the coffee up, but it doesn't break a lot of the bubble. Mm. Like we need to keep the texture of the egg. Yeah, and then you spoon to try some egg cream first. And if you like, you can drink to have more of the uh, coffee. Yeah. Wow, it's 
such a beautiful way to eat it. I do like egg coffee though. It's so creamy. It's like eating custard. Mm. When you get a lot of coffee though, yeah. it's very bitter. <laughs> Coffee, right? Yeah, you have to leave the form. <laughs> so the egg coffees were 30,000 dong each and you definitely have to try them if you are coming to Hanoi. It is just one of those items that if you don't try it then it's like you haven't been to Hanoi yet. So this was the last stop of our food tour. We tried so many amazing things. We want to say a big thank you to Wendy from Hanoi Street Food Tour for showing us all the different street foods and teaching us about the local cultures in Vietnam. And if you want to do the same food tour, we will link the information in our description box below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye! Bloopers! I also have a question. What does this mean in Vietnamese? Um... <laughs> 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 we can do it. Oh, can you do me a favor? Yes. Can sure. you hand me the camera, please? Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. See you guys bye -bye. later. Bye. See you again. Enjoy. You good? Let's do this. <laughs>